All right, so our question. In North America, a new computer is purchased every two seconds. Find out how many new computers are purchased in... You don't have to make fun of people who pronounce some stuff wrong. In two minutes. So in order to do this, right, we have to break down our question, right? Up here, first of all, the information that we have, we're saying A, so one new computer is purchased in every two seconds. So those become important, right? When we're breaking down our two minutes, we have to use the actual numbers they're giving us, right? Breaking it into, instead of minutes, we have to break it into seconds, right? So when we look at two minutes, how much is one minute? One minute equals 60 seconds, we know that. Two minutes equals what? 120 seconds. Now, Keegan says we multiply it by two. There's a lot of ways in which we can figure this out. Someone, we, we might say, well, one computer is in two seconds. Two computers is four seconds. Three computers is five seconds. Is that right? Five seconds? No. No, because it's going up by two every two seconds, right? Six seconds. If you wanted four computers to be bought, it would take eight seconds. Five computers would be ten seconds. What do we notice? The number of computers. One of two, two of four, three of six, four of eight, five of ten. What do we notice the computers, computers here in seconds, if we break it down? The number of computers bought is, Jess? Half the number of seconds. Half the number of seconds. So, when we look at this, we can then say, okay, 120 seconds divided by two equals 60. All right, so we know that there are there are 60 computers bought in two minutes in North America. Okay? Don't mind my sloppy handwriting, but we now can figure that out. We converted our two minutes into seconds, right? And we're able to figure out how we can get to the number of computers, right? We also just know that if it's one computer for every two seconds, we can just divide it by two or cut it in half because we know that half of them would work. If we want to look at the next question, I'm gonna try this other marker to see if it's a little better. We have to take our one month and turn it into seconds, right? So how many days are there in a month? Let's say September. Okay, so September, if we're talking September, equals 30 days. Right? How many hours are there in our 30 days? 30, in one day. We'll just say one day. Right? 24 hours in one day. We know that. How do we find how many hours are in our 30 days? Uh, I said multiply it by the... So 30 times 24. 30 days, 24 hours equals one day. How do we find out how many hours are in our month? Yeah, you're right, Josie, we multiply. So we take our 30 days, and we multiply it by our 24 hours. What does that equal? What's that going to equal for us? Who's got it? 720. So it equals 720. Okay? There are 720 hours in a month. Now, how many seconds, sorry, how many minutes are in an hour? How many 
minutes in an hour, right? So 60 minutes equals one hour. We know there's 720 hours in the month. How many minutes are in the month? We take our hours, 720, and we multiply it by what? Minutes in an hour. And what does that equal? What is our? 43,200. 43, That's what it gives us. So there's 43,200 minutes in a month. 43,200 minutes in a month. How many seconds are there in a minute? Yes? Right, so 60 seconds equals one minute. How do we find out how many seconds there are in a month? We take our minutes, we multiply it by how many seconds there are, right? So we take our 43,200 minutes, we multiply it by 60, because that's how many seconds are in each of those minutes, and what is our answer? 2,519,000. 2,519,000. That's it? Zero, zero, zero? Yeah. Two million five hundred ninety-two thousand. So in one month, you're going to have two million five hundred ninety-two thousand seconds. Okay? How do we take that answer and figure out what is that in computers? Why do we divide it by two? So if one computer was bought every second, you'd have two million. But it's not every second, it's every two seconds. So we can take this two million five hundred and ninety-two thousand and we divide it by two or we cut it in half because it's not every one second, it's every two seconds that a computer is bought. And that equals what? One million two hundred and ninety-six thousand computers are bought in one month. One million two hundred and ninety-six thousand. Now we could write that one million two hundred and ninety-six thousand. Two hundred and ninety-six thousand is pretty close to what? Jess? One million three hundred thousand, right? It's very close. So what I might write, I could write there is 1,296,000 computers bought in one month, right? Or I could also write there are about 1.3 million computers bought in North America in a month. Now, if it's February, it's probably going to be a little bit less, right? If it's October with 31 days, it might be even closer to 1.3 million or it might be over 1.3 million, right? We can always use our decimal there because we know it's one million and it's 0.3 of the way to the next million, right? And we'll talk more about decimals later on when we're getting into integers. But for now, these are ways. If you were to write there are 1,296,000 computers bought in North America in a month, that would also be correct, right? So there's a couple of different ways to do this. This one's a lot bigger. You know, this one is a little bit easier because it's a smaller number. This we had to go from days to hours, hours to minutes, minutes to seconds, seconds divided in half or cut in half, okay? We're gonna now work on the second question. So we're gonna move into that. 